What's up guys, Ida Myself here, and of course today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 11. I finally have it installed on this iPhone 7 Plus. We're going to take a look around the operating system and show you everything that's new, starting with those animations. You see those animations there, opening and closing? It makes the icons feel very much alive. Let's go ahead and take a look at iOS 11 and see what's new with this new version of iOS. It's a major software update. Now the first thing you notice is a few icons are new. You see there the calculator icon is completely redesigned. The calculator has these round buttons now instead of these square uh, buttons that you used to see with iOS uh, 10 here. Let me go ahead and bring iOS 10 into frame just to kind of give you guys a comparison on the difference iOS 10, iOS 11. 10.3.3 by the way. Now let me go here and show you the new file system we'll get to in a few seconds but this one is to manage files. This is a brand new application from Apple. You see it right there and I'll get to learning this application and give you guys some more in-depth information as I learn more about it myself. Of course this is the first time I, I try iOS 11 on my device. Today it was released as a first beta to developers. You see here the icon for iTunes has also changed. It's a little bit different. Uh, we also have a different icon for the App Store as well. Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, let's go ahead here and jump into settings because there's a lot to talk about in settings. There's so many new features inside of this settings application. Uh, finishing up tasks here to set up my Apple ID and Siri and all that stuff. So up top here we have our setup with all our devices, our iCloud information, everything. Very similar section uh, as you see on iOS 10.3.3 uh, here on this other iPhone. Uh, everything here is pretty much identical when it comes to the tabs and settings inside of this section here. You have the Wi-Fi which is also pretty much identical and same as Bluetooth as well. Now if I go into notifications here, uh, you see that uh, there's a slight change. Things are a little cleaner. Uh, things are a little uh, smoother. Let me go here and bring iOS 10 in frame and kind of just show you here notifications. There it is, iOS 10. And here's what it looks like on iOS 11. Show preview. Have all those options here up at the top. I guess this is a more unified or universal uh, option uh, up at the top that we didn't have before uh, for when the device is locked, when our iPhone is locked or unlocked. Uh, you also have additional options down here at the bottom for the Amber Alert and Emergency Alert. Again, very similar to iOS 10, but it just seems a little cleaner. The look just seems a little bit refined. Of course, being iOS 11. Let's go ahead here, continue with Control Center, which is probably my favorite section. Look at this. Finally, the ability to customize Control Center, guys. Now, remember Control Center in iOS 10? It was pretty much terrible. Just two options, allow access and lock screen and within apps, on or off, that's it. Toggles, non-existent. Anything that had to do with toggles, changing things around, not possible. But now, very similar to some of the UIs, those when you jailbreak and then you have the option to just move these up and down and enable those options for your control center. So here are all the options that you now have for control center. Take a look at this. Accessibility shortcuts, Apple has been listening. Alarms, you also have Apple TV remote you have to not disturb while driving guided access low power mode yes magnifier notification screen recorder yes screen recorder stop watch okay text size uh, voice memos wallet I mean look at all these options camera timer flash calculators and you can move all these up or down as you wish. I mean, so many options here that I'll use right away. I know you guys are staring at that screen recorder. I didn't think it was going to be possible. It looks like it's going to be possible now. But anyway, we'll get to Control Center in a few seconds. It's probably my favorite part about uh, iOS 11 so far. Do not disturb options uh, are pretty identical to iOS 10. Now let's go ahead and jump to some of the additional options here in settings. Once we're done with all the settings, we'll get to the UI. Just trying to cover as much as I can. Let's go here into the display and brightness. Uh, again, it's very similar to iOS 10. So if I bring iOS 10 here and show you display and brightness, you see that the UI is pretty much identical right there. So 10.3.3, 11. So let's go back. No dark mode. I haven't seen any dark mode. Let's take a look at wallpapers. Let's go here and boom. Look at the beautiful wallpapers or wallpaper that's been added. This one here is for iOS 11. Let's go ahead and set it up right now. See how it looks on my device. 
very neat, very nice. Very similar to the one that they added for iPad Pro on 10.3.3. Uh, uh, no additional new wallpapers here uh, that I can tell. Let's go here into the live ones, nothing new. Dynamic, nothing new. Sounds and all that, it's identical to iOS 10. Uh, right here, Siri and speech. Listening for Hey Siri option now has the option to turn on or off instead of just having that thing there all the time. Uh, press for Siri, new option there. You also have allow Siri when locked. Uh, different options here for Siri, suggestions and things like that. You have your passcode uh, enabled there for uh, Touch ID and everything, your settings in here. There's a new option here, let me go ahead and show you. Uh, a new options, I should say, that when you set it up here, the today view and all that stuff, you see today view notifications and they're being renamed and a few have been added. For example, you have the control center uh, right there on the left. You have that option there. Allow access within the lock screen is now on this section here. You have to return miss calls. Okay, so a new option for return miss calls is also there. I have to set up some of these as well later, but we'll get to that in a second. I also have emergency SOS here, uh, auto call. So right here, it gives us the ability to call emergency services uh, with SOS. So you can set up your health uh, emergency contact and the, your uh, health contact or your primary contact will be contacted as well when you enable this. You have to press five button five times the sleep wake button and this thing just goes off with a countdown. Let me see if I can get it to go. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then if you wait, it will actually call the emergency services. We don't want to do that. So let's go back here. You saw that animation. I can't get over the, how cool the animations are. Uh, right here, let's go ahead and go back. You can shut down, so turn off the sound if you wish so it doesn't make that sound. I prefer the sound. Uh, right here we have low uh, battery or low power mode. Finally, we have the toggle for control center, which I want to get to in a few seconds, but options very similar to iOS 10 as well. Privacy options, I'm going to browse through. I uh, haven't seen anything uh, major in terms of changes in uh, comparison to iOS 10 there. We have accounts and passwords, uh, a particular section uh, specifically uh, for all your information for like uh, emails and passwords and logins and things like that. That particular section does not exist uh, at all in iOS 10. So let's keep scrolling through here. The iTunes and store, iTunes and App Store settings are the same, same as wallet here. Uh, contacts. Uh, some of these are very, very, very similar to what you're used to on your uh, iOS 10 device. Uh, once I get more information on how some of these new features work, I'll get to you guys the information as soon as possible. Now, 3D touching on certain things uh, make it look a little different in my opinion. I think we have a smoother, cleaner look uh, there with iOS 11, as you can see there, of course, on the left and on the right iOS 10. We have some additional controls, I believe, here for the music. Nope, I thought I had that already, but I guess Apple's just gonna wait. Let's look here at the widget panel. Very similar stuff, very similar to what we're used to with iOS 10, uh, but that's not a bad thing. I do like iOS 10. However, you see here a cleaner look uh, as well. No more the day up at the top there, like you see on iOS 10, you just get the widgets, that's it. That's all you're getting, and uh, I think I like it. No spotlight search, no interruptions. I like that. So let's go ahead and show you here the keyboards. Let me see if we got any new emojis in here. I was uh, waiting to see if there was any new emojis. You guys let me know if you spot any new ones. Take a close look. Uh, let me 3D touch on one of these. No, no redhead ones yet. I was thinking that was going to happen. Let me see if we can find anything that's new. Can you guys spot anything at all? I don't think there's anything new as of yet. Apple hasn't added it as of yet. Now the iTunes store and the Apple store, I got a redesign, so that's why I think it's why you see the new icons. The App Store alone uh, is, to me, probably one of the best ideas Apple had with iOS 11 because it was just such a cluster, in my opinion, before. You have the main today view now, then you have your games. So today would be new apps, new apps that just released recently today, of course, and things that are happening at the moment. That way you don't miss out on new things, uh, games, apps, and then you have all your app categories. And of course you can 3D touch on these sections here. And you also have your updates and then your search. Let's bring up Control Center finally. Look at this, a full page. 
control center all the toggles can be enabled what do you want what else do you need on your control center apple really went above and beyond you can swipe up and down here on the brightness okay same thing for the volume i really like this tile style uh, ui you also have your screen uh, mirroring for the airplay you also have your screen recorder which yes no more having to worried about screen recording Apple just made it a lot easier for us to do that finally or made it easy for us because it wasn't possible before we tap into this and boom there it is inside of our memories the screen has been captured I'm so happy for that uh, so let's keep let's keep looking at control center here tap and hold see if anything happens nope triple press or 3d touch you see there you get your options I love this UI I really really love this UI the way they went about it if you 3d touch on the tile you get all your options for all your toggles as you had them set up uh, prior to to when we went to the settings over there and I showed you let me go back to the settings application and show you the extensions here for the control center I know I'm taking my time uh, but I just want I just want you guys to see as much as you can so let's move the flash down like this you see how it moves right there to the third spot and so on so you have your toggles like your Wi-Fi and things like that that you can not move and change as of yet or add but at least you have more options you have a better cleaner look uh, but you, and you can also change the widgets down here or the extensions down here you have your music player which you can also engage and uh, interact with your music player start playing some Apple music here and you get your options here for your devices airplay and all that good stuff you also have your rotation lock nice cool animation there you saw that let's go here and 3d touch on some more of these icons you can see here set timers are really cool it's right here camera set the camera you have different modes there to choose from let's go show you through some of these accessibility shortcuts a lot of shortcuts screen recorder oh my god it's so so cool low power mode yes finally thank you apple that's all you had to do for me appreciate it so you can't 3d touch on the wi-fi toggles and it won't give you additional options you can't do that you can't do it on uh, airdrop things or anything like that but it, i think i like the way the direction that things are heading here with the, the control center nothing else there also want to show you this really cool thing check this out like take a take a screenshot with the home button and power button and when you take a screenshot it now holds it there in the corner so you can interact with it edit it do whatever it is that you want to do with it crop it change the color share it add things to it so it's just really cool once you're done you can just save photo or just simply swipe it out of the way really cool way to interact now with your screenshots so you can crop those on, on the fly now the multitasker does not have a main page like before as you can see here iOS 10 main page there no main page here for the multitasker no no solution to just swipe and clean all the apps at once or as you can see there's kind of glitchy first beta but no no solution to swipe and clean everything out of the way but uh, you do have that subtle change you also I also want to go here into general and show you down here you have a shutdown button which brings the shutdown menu right away uh, there's also additional options I wanted to share here with the iPhone storage right here it is so right here it just gives you a better breakdown uh, including uh, messages a lot of people don't realize that when their phone is filled a lot of the message threads are there so it gives you better uh, management over here storage here for your iPhone okay so now I want to show you something that's super annoying and that is the volume HUD still on the center of the screen I don't know why they didn't fix that but hey they did a lot of good things so far hopefully that's coming with a software update no dark mode I know you guys are hoping for dark mode I can't get Siri to work hey Siri how are you very well oh, thank there, you there she goes look at the new Siri icon what do you guys think about that I thought it was so cool on the event how that icon looks it is so neat you see it it's really 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 cool guys so the new Siri icon how are you liking iOS 11? I'm pretty good, Miguel. <laughs> I don't think she's uh, too smart yet, uh, but we'll see. You have to get a lot smarter, Siri. Uh, so, so far, 
what do you think let's go into messages let's go here messages I really can't get over the animations they're so cool now if you have extensions you have them accessible right there right away are uh, really useful you don't have to dig around or press anything else you have your input dictation there and then you have all your, uh, your photos and camera settings uh, to the left of that now it's kind of weird the way they set this up because I can't get back from the camera ever when I tried doing that so I don't know why that is maybe well I mean it is beta 1 but we'll see but every time I go there oh there it goes it fix itself so that's a little glitch there in the beta software uh, we also have let me go here and try to type a new effect we have a spotlight effect an echo effect a balloon effect the confetti you guys already know send with love the laser show so many cool stuff and that's it so two or three new ones the balloon no the spotlight right there and then the echo there the bubbles here we got the same stuff going on there as before that is that so not a whole lot but the messages application received such a large update last time and of course this is just a quick look guys I know this video has been going for quite some time but uh, there's just so much more that Apple never tells you uh, so I'm just kind of giving you guys a rundown as I discover some of these things myself notification center look at that new right there you have controls for your music if you swipe to the right you get your uh, camera it takes you to the lock screen look at that boom isn't that funny so now when you swipe from the top you're in your lock screen so just like this and now you have your controls for your music the widget scene now inside of the camera we can't adjust the settings we still have the flip front and back we have here the live photo settings uh, you can't really change the ratio let me go here into video see if we can change the ratio here for the quality uh, no nothing nothing yet so we still have to go into settings and look for the camera settings in here and adjust them ourselves without having to do that directly on the camera app unfortunately that hasn't changed we didn't get that uh, either no dark mode no settings within camera uh, but a lot of good stuff I see a lot of good stuff happening as well uh, a more in-depth look at iOS 11 this was just a video to get to get you guys uh, what you needed to fix the guys the guys that want to know the latest of what's happening this video was for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it a uh, much more videos coming your way of course on iOS 11 on iPad as well which is a big leap from what it was before it's been a device help hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.